Hello, I'm Chi. Today, I'd like to share with you a hot technology nowadays, MDS, which refers to the multi-domain system. The MDS technology includes the virtual system, VS, and the logical system, LS. In this lecture, I'll introduce you the VS technology. The network service development brings about the following challenges. First, the resource utilization rate of a single device is low, and the procurement cost of physical devices keeps increasing. Second, centralized service deployment brings intensive convenience, but makes management isolation more difficult and has higher requirements for ONM personnel. Third, as service types increase, security isolation of services is a problem to be solved. To address these problems, Huawei introduces the VS technology. A physical device can be virtualized into multiple separated VS. Each VS functions as an independent physical device. It can implement independent control and forwarding and can be configured and managed independently. A VS can be the admin VS or a common VS. When deploying services on VS, a common VS administrator can directly log in to the common VS to configure and deliver services. Alternatively, a device administrator can have access to the common VS through the admin VS and then deploy services. Now, I'll introduce the usage scenarios of the VS technology. First, a physical device can be virtualized into multiple VS, and these VS function as network nodes in the logical topology. Using horizontal virtualization, the VS technology decreases the number of network devices, reduces device expenses and power consumption, and maximizes existing resource usage. Second, VS can be classified based on services. Each type of service can run on a VS as if it was running on an independent device. This guarantees resources for services as well as security. In addition, new services can be deployed on newly created VS to minimize the impact on other services on the live network. Third, VS can be allocated to different user groups to isolate multiple users for independent management, meeting reliability and security requirements. Key technologies to implement VS include, first, broad resource sharing by VS. VS share MPU and LPU resources of a physical device, achieving flexible configuration and improving the utilization of physical hardware resources. VS share system resources on boards, such as CPU, memory, and FIB resources. Second, physical link sharing by VS. A network administrator can divide logical interfaces into different VS, saving physical link resources and reducing networking costs. Third, VS service isolation. Services are configured on different VS. If a fault occurs on a VS, only the services on the VS are affected. This mechanism ensures network security and stability. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. Bye.